Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. Today we're back with I was gonna say Laval in the game. It's not Laval in the game. This is too hot to handle. How are we on chapter 18? That can't be right. Is that right? Are we on chapter 18 already? This season is going so fast. It's slipping and I'm behind. So I can't even imagine how you lot are feeling. But let's get into it. Let's see what's gonna happen. And let's see if this week things are gonna kick off because I have a feeling they might. As we said, this is episode six, chapter 18 and it's time to confront Poppy. Is she really just trying to get under our skin or is there another reason she's obsessed? Let's find out. Immediately, jealousy flares through you. You think Poppy slept with Jiraiyu? Sean looked chagrined. I can't be certain, of course, but I heard her say, you and I have probably lost more money than everyone else combined. And I could have sworn she was talking to Jiraiyu. Your jaw clenches and your shoulders tense. Sean gives you an apologetic look. He does seem genuinely upset on your behalf. It's not fair to you, Jesse. If you ever want to teach her a lesson, you'll push her into the pool for me? Sean winks. You got it. Giselle comes running back into the room with a can of tomato paste. Found it! Wait, you're not staying to see if it works? You shake your head as you take a step towards the door. I've got a bigger problem to solve. Before Giselle can ask any questions, you storm out of the room. You find Poppy moonbathing on the patio, looking like she's the queen of the retreat. She doesn't even jolt when you stomp towards her. What the hell do you think you're doing? Poppy peeks one eye open to look at you. Soaking up the moon's rays, obviously. It's good for you. <laughs> Not that. I mean, what is your deal with causing a bunch of drama wherever you can? Don't be so dramatic, Jesse. I'm not dramatic, it's the truth. You probably think it makes for good TV, right? Playing the big bad villain. You take a step forward. But let me tell you one thing, Poppy. This is real life. You're toying with the emotions of actual human beings. Think about that the next time you try and go after the person I'm interested in. Poppy ignores you as she checks her manicure. Can you blame a girl for wanting to have a little fun? She glances at you and smirks. In fact, I've been pretty intrigued by Jiraiyu. Maybe we should spend a little more time together. Poppy trails off, leaving you to fill in the blanks. You shake your head. You know what, Poppy? Give it your best shot. You laugh, but there's no humour behind it. Because I can guarantee it won't work, no matter how hard you try. But it'll be fun to watch you crash and burn as you attempt it. Especially since no one is watching your show. Nobody cares about what you're doing here, or you alone. And here you are, seeming rather invested. Poppy dusts herself off and pins you with a glare that can melt ice. I'll remember you said that, Jesse. And when I return the favour, you'll eat those words. And with that, she sashays away, leaving you alone. As you watch Poppy walk away, another person steps up to the patio. Jiraiyu walks up with full attention on you. Just the woman I was looking for. You give him a forced smile. Immediately, his relaxed demeanour shifts. Jesse, is something wrong? I think you know the answer to that. Well, you know, I don't like playing guessing games. So tell me what's on your mind. You are. More specifically, you and Poppy. Jiraiya's brow creases. There is no me and Poppy. Jesse, you're wrong if you think I have eyes for anyone else. If you were me, wouldn't you be suspicious? I don't think I would be. I trust you to be open and upfront with me about your feelings. The same way I am with you. If something was going on, I'd tell you. But there's nothing more to tell. Do you believe me? You hug your arms to your chest. Part of you wants to accept what he's saying and spend the night in his arms. But it's hard to ignore your suspicions. Still, you know Jiraiya takes pride in his honesty. Do I think Jiraiya's telling the truth? I am gonna say I trust him. I don't trust Poppy. I don't want to let Poppy come between us. So if you say nothing's happening, I believe you. Jiraiya opens his arms. Come here. What for? We're gonna hug it out and then we're gonna go to bed. You relax into his arms and inhale his sweet scent. Feel any better? Much. Hand in hand, you head into the villa. As you get ready for bed, you look around, wondering where Jiraiyu went. Giselle catches you searching. Looking for Jiraiyu? Is it that obvious? Yep, but I think it's kind of adorable. I saw Jiraiyu heading for the shower a few minutes ago. Thanks. You flop back on your bed, waiting for Jiraiya to join you. Your mind unwittedly drifts back to Poppy, and you can't believe one person can cause so much stress. A voice pulls you out of your cantankerous thoughts. All right there, Jesse. Everything grand? There's genuine concern on Arvi's face as he looks at you. Yeah, let's just say it's been a long day. Need to talk about it. Maybe I can lend an ear, help out a bit. I could confide in Arvi. He seems like a great listener. Uh, I'm going to tell him what's wrong. I don't know if that's a good thing to do, but I'm going to do it. You sit up and pat the spot next to you. Arvi takes it, giving you his full attention. This will sound so weird, but 
Poppy's out to get me. Or Jirayu, I don't know. Ever since she's arrived, she's been trying to go after whoever I date, and today really took the cake. I heard that she slept with Jirayu. Avi seems suspicious. Hmm, you really reckon Poppy and Jirayu slept together? You chuckle humorlessly. I don't know what to think at this point. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense though, does it? Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Poppy's delivered a lot of nonsense, it seems to me. We should pull a prank on Poppy, what do you say? The idea has you perking up. That could be a fun idea. Let's prank Poppy with Avi. Suddenly your exhaustion is placed with excitement. Let's do it. Avi rubs his hands together conspiratorially. Brilliant, because I've got a plan already. But we're going to need a lot of backup. Avi recruits Sean, Julian and Beatrice to help. Gently and quietly, you all surround Poppy's bed where she's sleeping peacefully. And up she goes. The five of you lift the mattress and carry it out the door. Do you reckon she'll stay asleep? Yes, shush. It takes some finagling, but you manage to place the mattress and Poppy out on the patio. When you get back to the bedroom, you feel a bit better. If she wants to moon bathe, she can do it all night. Glad you're feeling better. You flop back onto your bed, feeling lighter than before. That took everything out of me. Feeling a bit knackered? Very. Avi stifles his own yawn. Then I should let you hit the hay before Jiraiya comes back from the shower. Good night, Jesse. Good night. Just before you fall asleep, there's a startled shriek. Poppy comes running into the room looking disheveled. Where the hell am I? You smile to yourself and burrow it a little deeper under the covers. Nailed it. The next morning, the sun is shining and things seem a bit clearer. You turn over, hoping to find Jirayu, but you only find sheets. Hmm, I wonder where Jirayu is. Jesse? You turn to see Jirayu holding his hands behind his back. Hey there! I hope you like surprises. Because I got you a gift? What? Got you in a gift-giving mood? He smiles bashfully. I just... I like you a lot. And I wanted to make you smile. He holds out a polished, pristine conch shell. I went for a swim in the ocean this morning and saw this beautiful shell in the sand. Unlike hermit crabs who change shells when they grow, conches live with one shell their whole life. It grows around them and keeps growing as they age. I guess it means I'm giving you a conch skeleton, which seems a little bit morbid. He rubs his neck. Sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> I spent all morning polishing it so it would shine as brightly as you do. And when you put it to your ear, you should be able to hear the ocean and remember our time together. You like it? Oh my gosh. That's so thoughtful. You take the conch shell from Jirayu. Jirayu, this is so thoughtful. I'm always going to cherish this. Thank you. He smiles shyly. I'm truly happy you appreciate it. Before you can say another word. Good morning, Jesse and Jirayu. Please join your fellow contestants in the cabana. You look at Jirayu and grimace. Here we go again. Once you arrive at the cabana, everyone else is already seated. As usual, there's a mixture of concern, confusion, and curiosity. You don't bother to say anything. I'll let Lana do the talking. Also, look at this swimsuit. I can't lie, it kind of reminds me of an elephant. Does anyone else see it? Once you're all settled, Lana lights up again. Good morning, fellow guests. I have gathered you all here because there have been multiple breaches of the rules. Multiple? You look around the cabana, trying to suss out the guilty parties. Everyone looks vaguely suspicious, but Lana doesn't let you play detective. Poppy and Julian, you engaged in rather creative, hefty rule breaks last night. Wait, Poppy and Julian? But I thought, I thought she was into me. Why would she break the rules with Julian of all people? You give her a shocked, hurt look, but Poppy refuses to look in your direction. Everyone else seems equally as astonished. What in the world did you do? I'm really scared to ask what creative means. Did she say plural? We, uh, like Lana said, we got creative. Poppy winks, seemingly unbothered. Still, her smile seems to fall when her eyes meet yours. What are you hiding, Poppy? Your rule breaks have cost the group $10,000. All right, Poppy and Julian. I can't really complain. No, I mean, why, how? Poppy groans, almost bored. Suppose my hand got busy while Julian's mouth was busy at the same time. Clear enough for you? Don't start with the snark, you thirst trap amateur. You think you're really smart, don't you? Before Poppy can reply, Sean shakes his head. Just can't keep it in your pants, can you, Julian? It's clear that there's still bad blood from yesterday's pool incident. That is not all. Never is, huh? Giselle and Sean, your rule break has cost the group an additional $20,000. Wait, what? Did Giselle and Sean go all the way? Shocking. This time it's Julian's turn to look pissed. Lose 100k of the prize money, an achievement we have received. I feel bad about this. Wow, are you two trying to compete with me and Poppy? Doubling our own money spent is pretty impressive. There is so much going on here. Wait, 20? Again? 
This is a bad nightmare. Jiraiya looks like he might cry and Carmen does her best to comfort him. Wow, so dramatic. Giselle is a silent sentinel as she pins her gaze on Poppy. Sean, on the other hand, doesn't want to go down without a fight. The money is meant to be spent. Otherwise, what's the point of being here? Lana's light flies a little brighter. I am extremely disappointed with the behavior you're displaying. I have continuously stressed the importance of respect and genuine relationships, and yet you continue to fail to apply yourselves in my retreats. You have given me no choice but to make drastic changes to your stay here. Drastic changes? Oh no. And that's the end of that episode, oh my gosh. Okay, so we lost, and it wasn't us for a change, $30,000. We taunted Poppy to give it her best shot, like 28% of people. 38% said she'd ruin Poppy's life. And 34% said that Karma would be coming for her. We also trusted Jiraiya like 88% of people, but 12 sent Jiraiya to sleep in a hammock. We confided in Arvi like 61% of people, but 39 brushed him off. We pranked Poppy like 54% of people and 46 didn't. I wonder why. If you didn't prank Poppy, please let me know down below why. We also loved Jiraiya's gift like 79% of people, but 3% of people were rude to Jiraiya, which left 18% of people to politely accept the gift. What did you think of this episode? Please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to our wonderful channel members. You get to watch every single video before anyone else and I hope that you are enjoying that because there are a lot of videos here on the channel at the moment and uh lots for members thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you so 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 much please if you haven't already do give this video a like subscribe to see more and turn on your notifications so you know every single time I upload a video thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one goodbye